Good day to all. The World Vegetable Center, one of the international agriculture research centers focusing on vegetable research and development and headquartered in Taiwan, uh, has been collaborating with the Tamil Nadu Agricultural University in Coimbatore to implement a project on integrated pest and disease management in vegetable crops. The project uh, is being funded by the 1CGIARs Plant Health Initiative. And the project has been implemented for three years, starting from 2022. So this is the second year of the project. And in this project, we have been primarily working in Tamil Nadu state of India. And we are focusing two most important vegetables, which are uh, quite important for the region, which is uh, a tomato and a lab lab bean. So the integrated pest and disease management packages are one of the most viable options available to the farmers because they not only reduce the use of chemical pesticides, they also reduce the, the production cost for the farmers. And also it uh, enhances the biodiversity which are beneficial uh, in the uh, crop production systems and then it increases the productivity of the crop and also it improves the quality of the produce so that the farmers will be able to fetch a better price in the market. So they are able to increase the income uh, per unit area through adoption of the integrated pest and disease management packages. So in this particular project, we have been trying to introduce the integrated pest and disease management packages for uh, tomato and uh, lab lab bean. And if we look at the tomato production in Tamil Nadu, Obviously, it is affected by a wide range of pests and diseases. And uh, most of the uh, varieties or hybrids that are available in the, in the market today are having uh, resistance to virus diseases such as the tomato leaf curl virus or other virus diseases and even to some of the fungal diseases. But it's very difficult to find the resistant source or it's very difficult to develop a resistant variety for bacterial build. And in fact, bacterial wilt is one of the most notorious uh, diseases because uh, once it onsets in the field, it suddenly spreads throughout the field and it's causing almost 100% crop loss. And it can uh, infect the crop at any stage, for example, in the vegetative phase or in the flowering phase or in the fruiting uh, stage of the crop. So when the disease occurs at the, towards the, the middle or towards the end of the, or the harvesting stage of the crop, the farmer is going to incur a huge amount of losses uh, for their investment. So uh, what's out there to manage this particular disease? There are no pesticides. There is no viable options available. And in tomato, there are no natural resistant sources available so that the breeders can develop the resistant varieties. So uh, over a period of time, what the World Vegetable Center and other similar research institutions have found is the existence of resistant sources to the bacterial wilt disease in the eggplant. And as you know, eggplant is a sister species of tomato. And uh, then we have evolved a grafting uh, technology like fruit trees. Uh, we can even easily graft the seed links of uh, eggplant with the tomato. So the resistant eggplant varieties are being used as the rootstock, whereas any desired variety or hybrids of tomato can be used as the scion. The only thing is both the seedlings have to be raised at the, at the same time the stem uh, uh, diameter should be of the same size. So at the age of like three to four weeks, the seedlings can be used for grafting and the grafting uh, technology, of course it needs a skill set, but it's very easy to train the people, even the, the farm workers. And then with the, the simple tools like the clips, the grafting is becoming quite easy. And also the, uh, the grafting union is becoming very, very uh, high and successful uh, at this moment. So in this project, we have introduced the grafting technology for uh, tomato. And then uh, last year in 2022, we have planted the grafted tomatoes in the field conditions. So in this case, what we are trying to do, we take the tech package of technologies, we go to the farmer's field, we uh, uh, put the, the demonstration trials through the farmer participatory uh, mode. So the farmer is the one who is going to take care of the, the crop and manage the crop until the end. 
whereas the researchers provide the necessary technical backstopping. So last year we were able to demonstrate that the grafted tomatoes are able to overcome the bacterial well disease besides providing tolerance to the water logging. For example, tomato production is a nightmare in the wet season because of the water logging which could eventually lead to wilting of the plants either due to the physical wilting or due to the bacterial wilt uh, disease onset. So besides the, the resistance to the bacterial well disease, the tomato grafting is offering tolerance to the water logging conditions offering resistance to the root knot nematode, prolonging the harvesting period. So the farmers are able to get higher uh, uh, yield uh, from the, the tomato production. And as, at times, so farmers are also sharing their experience saying that the quality of the tomato fruits being harvested from the grafted tomatoes are of high and highly preferred uh, uh, by the buyers and the consumers. So they are fetching a better price in the market. Besides the, the grafting technology, we are uh, also using the biopesticides like Bacillus thuringiensis, Bivaria bezian or Metarhizium anisopleia to tackle the both the sucking insects as well as the caterpillar pests which are causing the fruit borer damage. Right? And uh, uh, one of the recent uh, invasive pest problems in tomato is the tomato pinworm or the South American tomato leaf miner. So use of the biopesticides can provide broad spectrum uh, protection against both the tomato fruit borer helicover parmigera and also it provides uh, protection against the, the tomato pinworm tuta absoluta or uh, now it is called as thorimoya absoluta besides protecting the other sucking insects like white flies, aphids, thrips, leaf hoppers, etc. And then uh, some of the uh, fungal diseases like late blight or early blight and then uh, uh, the virus diseases, they can also be managed by combining the, the different components of the integrated pest and disease management uh, tools uh, like the use of uh, biopesticides like uh, Trichoderma viridae, Trichoderma harsianum, uh, Bacillus subtilis or Pseudomonas fluorescens. So we are trying to combine the different biopesticides uh, either uh, uh, using them as uh, the seed treatment or seedling treatment or even for foliar spraying of uh, those biopesticides combined with the, the grafting technology is providing a, a complete solution for the uh, production of tomatoes in a safe and sustainable manner. And besides uh, uh, tomato, we are also focusing on the, the lab lab bean. Uh, because uh, uh, in the recent times the lab lab bean cultivation is uh, getting very popular among most farmers. However, the lab lab uh, uh, production is being hampered by uh, a range of pest and diseases including the virus diseases and uh, uh, even the uh, pests like thrips, aphids and uh, pot borers. So, uh, in, the, in the past, we have a, a quite good experience in Southeast Asian countries where we developed the integrated pest and disease management packages for managing uh, similar pest and diseases on vegetable legumes. Uh, of course, not on lab lab bean, but on other vegetable legumes like a yarlong bean uh, in Southeast Asian countries. So, we have brought the, the integrated pest and disease management package here. We are trying to adapt them to the lab lab bean through the farmer participatory trials uh, in uh, both the districts in uh, Coimbatore and Dharmaburi districts. Uh, and then uh, we have already found the IPDM packages are quite effective in terms of reducing the pest and disease incidences, boosting the yield so that the adopting farmers are getting better price. So our uh, main aim of this particular project is to uh, uh, demonstrate the usefulness of these simple IPDM packages to the farmers and then uh, in the next phase of the project at the end of the three years we may move to the second phase of the project where we have uh, been planning to scale out these technological innovations to a large number of farmers in, in Tamil Nadu state so that we uh, expect the tomato and lab lab bean producers in Tamil Nadu will be able to adopt these IPDM packages so that they will be able to reduce the over reliance on chemical pesticides and then they can produce the, the tomatoes and the lab lab bean in a safe and sustainable manner. So we can also ensure that the consumers will receive the safe produce for their consumption. So the adoption of these technological innovations are going to protect the human health but also it is going to uh, safeguard the environmental health because of the reduction of the chemical pesticides uh, in, a, in a longer run. 
So I hope the farmers and the extension agents will be able to spread the word to other neighbors or uh, farmers in the uh, neighboring districts or neighboring state so that the technology will be adopted in a much wider manner. Thank you very much. Thank you.